Hey guys, this is Turby from Couch Wasabi. So for today, I'm gonna share you how I did this look. This is actually, well, this can actually pass as your everyday look. It's so simple, it's so basic. But in this look, I focused on using cosmetics that are collaborated with Disney's Aladdin. I used from three different brands, MAC, Colourpop, and Happy Skin. So from MAC, I used the highlighter. For the lips, I used from Happy Skin and color pop if you're interested to know how i did this look please keep watching all right so let's start today's look with my favorite caudalie beauty elixir i love using this before i put on any makeup just three spritz and it instantly relaxes you because the smell is so amazing. It's made with a lot of natural oils and stuff. So it's actually a good makeup primer and it's also actually a good makeup refresher throughout the day. So I really like bringing this. I buy this small size 30ml and I put it in my purse. So throughout the day, I'm able to refresh myself without needing to pile up on powders or cake up my makeup. Okay? And after that, when I'm refreshed and perked up in the morning, I usually apply my sunscreen first. But since I'm not really going out, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go straight into using my daily foundation, which is Maybelline's Fit Me Foundation. So I got this pump head from Korea because the one sold here in the Philippines is not really like this. It's like the regular screw top. So I really like this pump head. I buy that from Korea and I like putting my foundation from the center then outwards. So here on my T zone, around my lips, and then just spread the rest or buff away towards the outer part of my face. I like concentrating my foundation from the center and then just spread it outwards. There you go. And then just put some on my neck. Of course the ears. So now that everything's buffed in, it's like my second skin. Let me put on some concealer. So for today, I'm going to be using Silky Girls Quick Fix Care Concealer. And I'm going to put it down here. The only thing I don't like about this is that you need many clicks to dispense the product. Okay, it's there now. And sometimes, well usually, I can't control it. Like I've never figured out how many clicks I need to dispense the right amount of product. I like putting in concealer around my eye not just under my eye so yes i do that triangle thing like inverted triangle thing just to spread it downwards so the coverage is more natural and it hits the light perfectly but i also like putting it on my upper eyelid and up to my brow bone just to create like a good base for my eyeshadow Maybe a little more down here. Alright. Then the remaining on my brow bone. Okay. Now that is done, I normally set my concealer with my trusty face powder, or any translucent powder will do. So I got my fluffy brush, and right now I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible. <laughs> I've hit pan, as you can see. And I like setting my concealer with it. So setting any liquid product or cream product, 
makes it harder for that makeup to move around. So it stays on where you put it throughout the day. That's why you set it with a powder. After that, I normally go on with my highlighter, actually. So today's look actually centers on my Aladdin collection or whatever Aladdin related makeup that I have. I actually have three as of the moment. So I have Max Aladdin and then I have Happy Skins Disney collaboration. This is in Jasmine. This is a local brand. And I also have this one, Colourpop's Disney Princess collaboration. This is Jasmine. So this is my, I think, my first and only MAC product that I bought with my own money. I have another one, but it was a gift from my sister. This is because I don't really like buying MAC products. I honestly feel that I'd rather put my money to something nicer. Like, I'd rather invest on Chanel's or the Dior's. Or I'd rather put my money on Hourglass. Hourglass is so amazing. I love Hourglass. What else? Charlotte Tilbury is another brand that I love. So, if I were going to buy makeup that is not really drugstore, I'd rather put it on some brand that is that makes sense more for me. I feel that MAC can be overpriced for their flimsy packaging. I mean, when you feel your hourglass versus this one, it's so plasticky. This one looks so looks and look at the product while your regular MAC blush or powder I mean my Becca was nicer but I, I also hated that in the end because it breaks so easily so this one I only bought this one because it's collaborated with Aladdin and I really like Aladdin it's my favorite Disney cartoon growing up and Jasmine was my favorite Disney princess so I kind of lean towards getting one just for the sake of having one but I'm not really a fan of MAC I still think that they're overpriced and I still feel that they can improve their packaging for the price <laughs> that they're selling their products so anyway enough of the blab let's start using their MAC face powder always one jump ahead it's actually MAC powder blush but it's a highlighter and what I really like about this is that it's not the highlighter is not so much into your face it's perfect for daily use I've actually used this yesterday I bought this two days ago and I was really really excited to try it out I mean look at that cute lamp thing right in the middle so just get it with my fluffy brush apply it on the highest points of my cheeks See? lang difference. But that's okay because when you look closely, you can see the sheen. So it looks so natural, which I really like. I don't really like an ensemble here on my Cupid's bow. Like just the tira or the leftover of the highlighter from the brush. I put it down there. And then I also get this fluffy eye brush and go in the MAC highlighter and put it up here now. There you go. I like putting in my concealer first, right before every eye makeup or every face makeup, like blush, because I want it to look natural. I feel that when you put your concealer at the last part, masigaw siya. So when you put it first, parang it blends better. With the rest of your makeup and it looks more natural like most of my friends tell me your skin is so glowing they, they don't realize i'm actually just wearing highlighter okay and then after that i like going in with my brows before my eye makeup so today i'm gonna be using my current brow product okay which is sigma's dark brow powder I like using brow powders instead of like those brow pens because mas sanay ako dito sa brush na to. So I need a mirror that's very close on my face. And then just 
fill in my brows. There you go. I do have a semi-permanent thing on my brows, but it has faded. Like the tail has faded. When I don't fill it in, nawawala na rin yung tail. So, I know it's up for retouch. Kaya lang. Kaya tamad pa ako. <laughs> but, um, I got this from HD Brow PH. I'll link them down below. So, this is done by Joanne. Uy, Dacio. She's very skilled. She's trained from Korea. And, ang tagal na na to. This has been like, um, two plus years na rin. And it's still there. Tinatawag na niya ako mag-retouch, but oh, wala lang kasi akong time. So, there you go. So, that's how I do my brows. Nawala lang yung spoolie, but I normally use the spoolie to like, fade. What's on here? So maybe I can just use the brush to spread it out. Para hindi siya too harsh. And mukhang too drawn. Let's see. Alright. And then after that, let's proceed with my eye makeup. For today's eye makeup, I want something that's very neutral for my eyes. Because the lips is gonna be a little bold. So I don't like to, to have... I like balance on my face, so when my lips is a little dark and too sigaw, I want my eyes to play down a little bit. So for today, I'm going to be using my Inglot palette, and we will be going in with this, itong, itong trio, yeah, this one. So this is my Rainbow 107. If you do not know, Inglot is actually a cool like makeup system because you get to buy the magnetic palette and then you get to put in whatever color you like so in this palette i have eyeshadows mostly and then i have three lipsticks so when i'm traveling it's like everything's here when i have parties i have bold colors to play with neutral colors to play with matte and shimmers and of course we all need gold like for our you know inner eye and whatever and then three lipsticks so this is my um travel palette and I like going in with this neutral shade first. The neutral brown shade. And I like popping it here on my crease as a transition shade. Yeah, there you go. You see the difference again? Like it puts a very, 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 very light wash of color. Like a cool, subdued shadow. And that's as your transition shade. Because I'm not going to put anything like Sigao today. I just need something to put there. That's a transition color. But, I will be using this for today. So this is Jcat's Triple Crown Big Shadow. I also have been using this as my highlighter. Because it's so compact. So when I'm traveling. I actually bring this as my highlighter. I really love it. Alright, so let's go in with the darkest shade in this trio and just put it here. So lower thirds. After which, we will go in with the Inglot palette and I'll go in with this MAC 378, this one. And I'll get an angled fluffy brush like this. And then just go in with the color. Tapos, just pack it in here outside. 
create depth and dimension so this is very light lang we're not going crazy today for my eyes at least because I plan to have a bold lip I mean you can totally do a bold set of eye makeup and bold lips but that's not my thing if it's part of your personality then go ahead but ako kasi hindi. I mean I'm done with that maybe not when I was younger I did that most probably like when you check my blog I have a lot of like neons and brights on my eyes but now it's mostly like this there you go and so you just create the you just create a light wash of shadows and light colors so that when the light hits your eye it puts that curved dimension like the shadows are neatly placed here but the highlight is there and then you have something to brighten up here and then you pop something right here so your overall look pops out okay you can do this as your daily makeup no problem with that okay so next i'm gonna get this brush and use the lightest color in the jk trio and then just pop it in here there you go so when the light hits that it instantly brightens your eye diba? And it catches light agad and, you know, makes you look so fresh and gising. Okay, now that is done, I'm gonna be applying some eyeliner because we're gonna be all out today. So, do you think we should use a black eyeliner or a brown one? I think I have both today. So, I have both. Maybe we should go with black. I feel black is better for today. I use and I love using K Palette's eyeliner simply because I like their brush tip instead of the felt tip. I really hate felt tip eyeliner. I feel that it dries on me so quickly na parang sayang. So I'm gonna be closer para makita nyo how I do my eyeliner. Let's do like a flick today, a little cat's eye. So I like running my liner really really close to the rims of my lashes but i hate tight lining it so since you will be making like a little flick today so ganito lang not sure if you can see it but it's like this you angle lang your liner from the tip of your nose and that's the flick okay so you angle it like that See, draw a little flick and then from there from the end just connect it and draw a little triangle and then just fill it in there you go actually drawing the cat's eye isn't really the hard part the harder part is for you to make them pantay. So, let's go to the next eye. There you go. So, just let it sit. It actually dries down pretty quickly. Kasi ibang eyeliner, you have to wait. You can't even open your eyes kasi tatama siya sa taas ng eye mo. But, with K palette, it's not that hard to let it dry. That's why I love it so much. Yeah. So it defines your eye. That's why I really like using eyeliner on special occasions. I'm actually very lazy to use this every day. But when I was working by the corporate world, I use it a lot. So nasana ako but now ha. Pero if you want to look more put together, use your eyeliner. Again, same thing. Angle your eyeliner from the tip of your nose and to the corner of your eye. And that's where you put your mark. So like this. And then long. Just a little mark right there. And then 
do that again line it as close to your lashes I create an outline for your lashes There you go. Alright, so after my eyeliner, basically that's how my eye would look like for today. It's very, very basic. You can totally use this for everyday makeup. I actually use this for my everyday makeup when I was still working in the corporate world. Next, I move on with my blush. For today's blush, I'm going to be using my Hourglass. This is my favorite ambient light in diffused heat. So it's a nice corally shade that I love. So I apply it from here, down here. Again, from here, down here. Yeah, so a little goes a long way. It's very, very pigmented. There you go. The reason why I put most of the pigment here so that it's more natural looking, you can control the bagsak ng color from your face instead of putting here and then spread it out. That's just my style. And then, let's go on with the lips. So for today, we have two products related to Disney. Sadly, I wanted to buy Princess Incognito from MAC, pero it has sold out the entire Philippines. And I've, I've been to three branches in Mega Mall, Trinoma, and in Rockwell. And all of them has gone sold out na. Wala na raw talaga. Um, my only chance is if I ask my relatives to buy for me outside of the country. Kaya lang, it's inconvenient na, di ba? So anyway, I have this naman from Colourpop and I like it too. So the only thing I don't like about this is that it's matte. I'm not really into matte lipsticks. So I like dabbing it in because it looks naman so pigmented. Hello. <laughs> so I like dabbing it in. Cause then if I swipe it's gonna be too much. And then I do swipe the corners because dun parati walang pigment, right? And that's my pet peeve. Ayoko yung may lipstick yung tao, tas pag ganun yung sa side wala. So I always make sure meron sa corners. There you go. Woo! It's so into your face. That's also the reason why I don't really like using that on an everyday basis. I'm not really like this kind of girl on a daily basis, but I just want to use everything Jasmine right now. Okay, and this one I got yesterday. This is from Happy Skin, a local brand. And they've collaborated with Disney. And this is their cooling lip gloss. I've tried it yesterday as soon as I bought it. Low EQ lang. Kaya lang, I honestly feel that it's not as cooling as I expected. Like when I checked out reviews, they said refreshing cooling mint. It's not as cooling. I mean, my DIY lip balm is so much cooler than this. I was expecting that kind of cool because to their claim, it's like very refreshing and cooling. When you try our catacorn deodorant or our, well, I, I do my own lip balm. So when you try that, those are like really cooling. But this one is not. But anyway, shut up na. I'll just put it on. I like dabbing it in the center. It's not cooling even if I use this on its own. Because you might say, Siyempre, on top of the ano na, baka nawala na, may layer na na lipstick, kaya hindi na cooling. No, it's not really as cooling as I expected it to be. It smells cooling though. Like, it smells minty. So, I kind of like that. There you go. So this is like my first time mixing them together. 
It looks okay naman. This is more of a, no. This is more of a cool. Like mauve shade. There you go. It's more on the brownish nude side of things. I know like the other cooling lip gloss might fit this lipstick better but I just want to use all Jasmine right now or all Aladdin themes that's why I'm putting them together on its own I like it it easily wears off it's not as long lasting simply because it's just a lip gloss you don't really expect pigment and color and longevity in this it's not sold as a lip lacquer it's a lip gloss so you're you're meant to reapply this all the time if you want to like feel the cooling thing of it if you have the money i'd rather buy dior slip maximizer it's super cooling like when you put it on ang sarap talaga and it's high shine and i feel this lasts longer over this and bilis mawala nito and also there's something about happy skins do foot applicator i feel it's flimsy so yun lang um i feel that they can improve it from all the doe foot applicators that I've used, there's something really off with the applicator. But the product is okay. Mas matagal lang yan. Parang the cooling develops as you go along. Versus this one, you, when you put it on, it's like, bang, it's so cool. And then it lasts for a while. This one, when you put it on, parang... Medyo matagal. But it's there, and the color is okay. The color is perfect for everyday use. I would totally use this for everyday. That's why it's already in my purse. It's cute. It's fairly affordable. It's only 599 It can be expensive for a gloss, but if you're like a sucker for a Latin like me, you totally get it because it's cheap na for that price. This is about, what, 2000 plus? So, you know, it's the next best thing. Um, but my favorite lip gloss is this. This is Chanel's Rouge Allure. I really love this. And it lasts longer. Yeah. I, I love the doe foot applicator here. Also, the pigment is really nice. Yeah. So, yeah. I would recommend Chanel. For the cooling, I would recommend Dior. But for everyday budgeted purchase, I would totally go for this too. And then just reapply as usual. So I removed my kitty ears. And this is the final look. Let me just go closer. There you go. The eye is very, I guess, minimalist. You can totally rock this every day. But you know that you have something ongoing there. It's not bare. I don't really like even use this on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm tamad not to do makeup. I, you know, my very my makeup is very very minimal. As in, I cut down eye makeup na. Um, but if you want to look put together, if you have to attend like a daytime event, you can totally use this. It's very very workable. Very simple tip. Just go on with a darker matte shadow dun sa socket ng eye mo to create that illusion na parang my curve and shadows play of shadows and lights lang naman yan and then go with light shimmers sa lower thirds para yan highlighted yung lower thirds and then pop some lighter shimmer things sa corner ng eye and then work on it with your eyeliner whoop yan na yun and then your brows of course and then some highlight up there so you look nice and glowing and fresh and buhay and then the highlighter I feel is really nice I honestly like the highlighter um, I don't normally go for champagne color I feel that my skin works best with <laughs> major weird no but I feel that it works best with like this kind of pinkish I honestly love this highlighter from Colourpop it's so affordable kaya lang face out na siya I, I didn't like the blush so di ko alam kung sa kanya but I really love the highlighter so I'm really surprised that this Aladdin worked well on me even if it's a little champagne shade or like yellow undertone because usually your highlighters with yellow undertone would work well with darker skinned people but it worked well for me. I feel it looks natural still so I really love that. The 
colors or the sparkles or the shimmer is not so in their face which is I like also I don't like highlighters that are too sigaw I don't like that attention I like it to look as seamless as possible and for the lips I've told you about this in the past videos I just don't use it every day because I feel that it's too bold for my everyday and um, the problem with this is isang kainan lang wala na yung lips mo so you have to reapply but it's easy to reapply like what I did earlier you just have to dab it on especially when you're working with bold colored lipsticks you don't really like well, ako, ah. I don't really like spreading them I know some girls do but it's not my style I like dabbing it on and then building up the color you can actually make it last longer by setting it with a powder I don't really like doing that anymore I feel like na kain yung powder, so ayoko. This is matte, so I don't really like sporting matte lipsticks. I like going for glosses. I feel that it makes my look more youthful. I've never really been a fan of matte lipsticks. Even if when it hit the mainstream market, like when everybody's going matte, I stayed away from it. Kasi hindi talaga siya bagay sa akin. And with my biological feature, my lips are perpetually dry. Matte lipstick won't do good on me. So I've always loved glosses and sheens and satins and this is perfect the gloss is cool i love it it's affordable it's not as cooling as i expected it to be but if you don't really have a benchmark on what's cooling you'd love this for sure it smells minty it's refreshing you can reuse it reapply it every day however much you want and um it's sheer wala siyang actually color pag nilagay mo siya on its own so it's a good topper it doesn't really affect much on the color of this lipstick as you can see even if this looks a little darker and a little out of that color family because this is more on the cool mauve brown side of things while well, this one is really really bright fuchsia pink so it didn't really affect that much. I feel that both of them when mixed together still looked cool and uh, they blended in well. So the overall look I really really like. If you guys like this look and um, I don't know if you don't really like it, maybe you could let me know on how I can improve it or maybe how I can change or play it up. Maybe you could put some suggestions. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it and if there's nothing else, I guess that's all for today. Thank you guys so much. For watching and hanging out with me today and I hope to see you in my next makeup video. Bye!